Welcome to The Clown is Down, where you can get mad at us for our opinions. This is Keith. And I'm Pete. And in each episode, we will be bringing out our innermost feelings about a wide variety of subjects, from action figures to crosswalks, movies to beluga whales. So sit back and give us a listen. Remember, we're doing this for you. Double remember, it's just an opinion. We're back? Um, we're not back. We didn't go anywhere. That's we're, right. No, we're no, here. We've no. always been here. No, we, we just, you know. We take breaks from time to time. We don't get paid for this. It yeah. Makes these, it makes these episodes more important. And we have a very, very important episode tonight. Today. Whenever you listen to this. But yeah, whatever. A very, very important episode for you. Yeah, this is Keith. And this uh, is Pete, and we're we're talking vasectomies. 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 Yes. That's all we're talking about today. Yeah. We had them done. So if you enjoy this episode, you can uh you can follow us on Instagram at clown is down, all one word, no spaces. Don't forget to like and subscribe uh, wherever you get your podcast. Give us a nice review, give us some stars, and uh we'll we'll chum we'll churn out some more episodes for you. Snip. <laughs> well it's been a minute a couple of minutes <laughs> that's okay it's okay it's okay because we're on our time and mm-hmm. that's just how we do we've been busy we have been busy and then i had something done recently that you had done yeah. and now we have a shared experience a shared experience and we chopped our balls off <laughs> yes <laughs> we are now <laughs> We're vasectomized. We've been vasectomized. <laughs> it's, good, it's 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 not a. We're doing our part. We're doing our part. It's not vasectomy. It's vasecta we. It's, oh, that could be a shirt, man. I like that. So so yes. Yeah, write that down. Patent pending. Patent pending. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah 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 so how, um how was, how was yours mine was uh it was did interesting your, did your penis grow back no <laughs> uh, let's, let's walk our listeners through the steps okay of how this happens and our our experiences as we both went through the steps we're jumping right in with this we okay, we're, jumping right. we're jumping right in how did you come to the decision that this is what you wanted to do <laughs> well <laughs> <laughs> see the lady that married me she she was like there, there was it's this your whole turn it, it, yes pretty much <laughs> yeah but like you no know, there was this whole like uh it was really funny there was this whole valentine's thing that their advertising agency worked on it was all about like uh, really funny like these poems it was cards to nards cards <laughs> to nar- okay <laughs> and right. it's a uh, vasectomies a true act of love and like one of the cards like that uh, she showed me was on this day of love i want you to remember we don't want a baby come november ah. so, so it's like it was like a, a, a cards like that and there's a lot of there's a lot of really funny ones and i, I thought it was really funny and then we started talking about it and then, uh, um, then and the she talk was like, got serious. yeah, the talk got serious and she was just like, um, well, you know, it's your um, turn. it's your turn. And yeah. I was like, okay. So I, I went and got a consultation Okay. and then I procrastinated, procrastinated, procrastinated. <laughs> I kept changing. It's a big decision, man. It's it not, is it's not easy. What about you? Well, I mean, uh, as you and most of our lovely listeners know, you know, I had some big changes in my life and things went down and and that's fine. And and I found myself back in the world without a significant other. And and I have two children that are that are pretty rad. They're they're amazing. And I don't want any more, uh, especially at my advanced age. And uh, just to prevent any bumps in the road. Not that there's a lot of bumps these days, but, you know, to prevent any bumps in the road, you know, I, I just it's it's my turn to to carry that burden as well. You know, that uh, it's not that I don't want to worry about anything. I'm sure other people don't want to worry about anything. <laughs> so I made the decision that this is what I was going to do to prevent anything. I've got two awesome kids. That's all I'm looking for. You know, I, I'm good there. So 
I, I didn't have a I didn't really have a consultation though. You you said that you had a, oh, consultation. I had a consultation. Yeah, I had to go I had to go down there and like uh talk with uh um with this yeah, with this yeah the urologist about it. So I went down there, I went in there, she goes, So you're thinking about getting a vasectomy? And I was like, Yeah. And it was just so weird because just us two in the room and she just sat down like you know, like a therapist and she just kind of like looked at me, you know, and just kind of leaned in and she goes, and she was like, Are you sure? <laughs> I know. And then, yeah, like, why and, I'm here, man. and I was like, yeah. And then I was like, man, I'm like, like almost 50, you know, and yeah. you know, the wife's getting up there, you know, and I was just like, and we have a child and, you know, that's, that's where we're at. And you know, we just, we're not, we're not looking uh, uh, to, you know, have any more. And, and then, uh, and she just stared at me for a minute and then she goes, okay. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's that how, you know, little... that's, that's how I, I guess I did have a, I, yeah. you know, I went to the urologist and I'm yeah. like, this is what I, I want to do this. And I thought I was going to get the, are you sure speech? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and I kind of, I like very briefly explained my situation, you know, what, what was going on. And um, she was like, all right, what day do you want to do it? Said, okay, <laughs> cool, man. Uh, and I, you know, I tried to get a Friday, but they wouldn't do it Fridays. Yeah. Well, see, I lucked out. I lucked out. I got you a lucked out. You got a Friday. Like... Did they, did they, in the consultation that you had, did they explain the procedure? I remember, okay. I remember being in there and I was so full of anxiety because I was talk I was I was talking to her about it and like, you know, and I was like all like nerve nervous, you know, and she just stared the way she was staring at me, it just kept like just just like she was not breaking eye contact and just like looking at me, and I was just all nervous. And I, I remember she was like, okay, well, you know, the day of the procedure, when you come in, are you on any kind of like um uh, uh sedatives? And I was like, no. And she goes, well, I'm going to go ahead and prescribe you some because within this 15 minutes of talking to you, I think that you need something. Holy shit. <laughs> and I was like, and I was like, am I that, am I freaking out that much right now? And then like she prescribed two, uh, like, um, what is it? Like Xanax or something. Yeah. She yeah. prescribes two Xanax and she goes, you can't take it until you get here because we have to watch you take it. That's fair. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And I was like, okay. Worse. I was like, well, we'll do Worse. that. <laughs> I <know. laughs> I like, yeah, thanks for the Xanax word. Like your, so, Pete, like your Pete Davidson. I know. So 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 she's like, she's like, yeah. She goes, we'll we'll go in and you know we'll numb you up and then we'll just uh, we'll, yeah, do some incisions and that's yeah. it. And then you'll be done. You'll be in and out fifteen minutes. She goes, that, like they didn't explain anything like how that how it was going to happen. That's all she really said to me. I remember that day because I was like I was like in full on like I was kind of like starting to sweat. You know what I mean? I was just like. I was just like, I don't know. I, I, I was like, I'm doing this. I'm like, I go, cause I, I don't voluntarily go in to have things done. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? But I know that I'm doing, I'm doing something that's good, you know, like yeah, for your, for your fam. <laughs> I kind of knew what to expect because like I said, I, I think we know some of the same people that had it done and I know a few others. And so I, I think I kind of knew, I didn't have a lot of questions for my urologist. It was, she was, she was like raring to go. Like she was like, uh, <laughs> Not like right, like ready to slice me up and right there, but I think she saw that I wasn't there to waste her time, and I'm not looking to have my time mm. wasted. That it was a done deal, and and I knew what was going on, and she seemed very capable, and she was just like, "Cool, let's get it done." And I was, you know, because I talked to other people who'd had it done, and I, I knew, I know how the secondary works. They didn't prescribe me. I didn't get any free drugs. Yeah, snip, snap, snip, snap, snip, snap, snip, snap, snip. snip. <laughs> so you had to prep for it. Oh yeah, prepping for it is just like they want you yeah. to buy like a jock strap. They'll tell you that over and over Something again. They're to like, hold the bean. It was the first jock strap I ever bought in my entire life, and I, I like I had no I know, I know what earthly to idea what to look for, what to, <laughs> sizing, how it. I was like, I, what? What is all this? What I don't understand I do. in this well, monkey business. The one I found though was awesome. When I I was in the store and I was staring at this wall of jock straps, and I was like, <laughs> I'm like, wall I'm like. I don't know what I was like. Where were it, you shopping, man? <laughs> it was a um a, a Dick Sporting Goods. <laughs> ma, 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 ma. <laughs> but um, I was looking at this wall of jock straps, and I was like, okay, which one do I get? I was in the same boat. They had like all these different varieties of it. And I was Bar like, and I, well, they had some that have like you know the cup you could put a cup in or, or not have a cup. I don't or, think you needed a cup, man. And I know, and I was like looking at it, and then finally I was like, F it, I, I'm doing reviews. And I came across the brand that I was sitting there looking at. I looked at the review and I scrolled down and it said per, the title of it was perfect for vasectomies. And I was like, done. done. Sold. <laughs> and they were like, get this one that you could slide the bean. They go, and this guy had all these cool tips of like, 
buy a bag of uh, buy a bag of the green pe- uh, green peas. Yeah, green peas. And it's, it's not open, a it's not an urban legend. It is. Open open the bag, pour it in Ziploc bags, so you have several different size ones, and you could slide that in to the where the cup I goes. Oh no! It, it, this guy had all these like tips and stuff. I was like, okay, done. I'm buying it. We'll get the what, green get, peas. Like, a super vasectomy there. <laughs> no. I'll I'll tell you. I I I did look up. You know, I, I went on Reddit and I went on a couple other yeah. forums. I kind of looked up some some things. I did see a good piece of advice. Somebody was like, um, you know, of course you're gonna need your jock strap, your frozen peas, all that. Don't go move. He's like, but he's like, go buy yourself like three pairs of very nice boxer briefs. Mm-hmm. Um, just like not your run of the mill, like five head. They were like, go buy yourself like a couple of pairs of nice boxer briefs, like high end. They're like, you won't regret it. Uh, and I did. I bought like some Nike, and that's not like something I would normally buy. And snugged everything up. It was uh, it was very helpful. That was a helpful tip. And that's all you had to show up with. Well, they actually, they provided me uh, when I got there. Uh, they provided they had a jock strap, which was nice. Mm-hmm. Which honestly, I ended up liking better than the one I had because the one I had was meant for like being tackled and like, you know, you keeping everything really. Jock strap? I did not mind the medical jock strap. Right, I liked okay. it. I So I used both of them, you know, but uh, the course of the time that I was healing. So, <laughs> but, and, and you got to, you got to prep the area. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Oh yeah. Oh, I forgot about <laughs> that. Dude. Oh God. You yes. got to prep. You gotta yeah. Prep. Oh, that means everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I think everybody knows what that is. You got to shave that with a straight razor, man. Like yeah. it's not like a, they don't want it's you to trim it. But it's not it, that bad. Well, I went it's above and beyond. If you've never done it, it's probably scary yes. as hell. But I, I, I was like, yeah, I mean, you can't use some clippers to get because it. Because you got you got a you got a straight razor. In. Well, I'm sitting there. You know, you're sitting there in the bathroom, and you're and you're like shaving. You're like, well, where are they going to cut at? Like, where are they going to go in at? You know what I mean? Like, are they going to go in the back or the just, front? You just went crazy. I did you the whole thing, thing. and like. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, <laughs> like, I, was like I, didn't, I, I didn't know where it was like i didn't know where the where, where they're gonna do the cut <laughs> because oh, that's, that's because, amazing well because they said to you you know they go you don't want us doing it you know what i mean they don't yeah, want yeah yeah they, they're they, gonna dry they don't they, they yeah don't. and so so i'm sitting there and i'm like i'm just like i was like i'll just i'll just shave the whole thing with a straight or so <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome that's amazing all right so day of day, day of oh day of. i'm sure the day anticipation of. was high oh god i was i woke up i remember the night before i went to bed and like i got up and i'm already i've already got high anxiety as this yeah. and like uh i was fine i was totally cool i was like whatever dude we're going in we're doing this you know i was like yeah. come on woman let's get in the car let's go and get vasectomized and, drop and my balls off. she had to drive me because i was gonna be taking xanax and all that stuff right. or whatever lucky and it was funny sitting in the waiting room because i'm you know there was a bunch of other dudes in there oh yeah there's a lot of dudes in there it's just funny i got all, all yeah there was, it was they were knocking them out like you know, they were going it, it was funny because like bam, bam, bam. i was watching people go into the back yeah, everybody's wearing you're supposed to wear like you know joggers you know what i mean like just yeah. loose, workout loose pants loose fitting. And I was seeing everybody just walking in there, you know, doo, 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 doo. and then they all come out 15 minutes later, you know, a little, just slower. Like a, a little slower, you know, but they were coming out, you know, they're fine. And they're yeah. just a little slower, just like nobody was crying. Like they nobody, got nobody punched in the stomach. Yeah, exactly. And everybody like, comes out feeling like they got punched in the stomach. So like, you know, after my 15th P, you know, my anxiety, yeah. like, you know, I was like sitting there, they, they call you back. And so, um, we right go back, they call your name. That's, that's yeah. Pow, I'm start sweating. You know, you go in the back and sit down and they go okay we'll just come this way you got your pill and then i was like yeah so i took it and um i'm sitting they go okay so they go sit down and watch this video so i had to watch this this god-awful video which i actually kind of enjoy those kind of videos those medical like stupid like and on you know just explaining what's going on to me and yeah exactly you decided to have a vasectomy (laughs) you've already nailed the uh first like (laughs) opening lines and uh so I'm sitting there watching it and I'm like, and all I keep thinking was, man, I could make these, dude. I would love to make these videos. And like, and so I get lost thinking that, like take watching it, the videos. Mind out of it. I totally miss everything they're saying in the video because that's all I'm thinking about. I was like, <laughs> I would like to make these kind of videos. And then all of a sudden, all I heard was, and sometimes death could happen. And I was like, what? And, and then like, rewind that. Rewind that I was right like, now. What? And they're like, and they go, and they go, it's just because it's a normal warning. I'm not yeah. trying to scare everybody. It's a it's, procedure. It's a medical procedure. It's a medical procedure. Yeah. It's it's very rare, but like they have to say it, and like they go something like something could go wrong, and yeah. like uh, 
that they were talking about infections at that point, you know. Um, and and then I was like, what what just happened? I totally missed the video. I was like too busy thinking about why am I not starting a business making these kind of videos? Exactly and, videos. Yes. <laughs> and like <laughs> it just like missed everything that was going on because of my anxiety and like um that ADD so, right. Yeah. So then you go back and like you're going down the hallway. In my brain, it's like walking down the tent tunnel from ET, hmm. but it's <laughs> but it's just just go into this room, and I'm like nervous talking, and then like I'm getting backed into a corner by like these three doctors that are like surrounding me, and they're just like coming toward me, and I'm backing up, you know, and they're just like so you know blow blow talking, and and they're just, they're handing me things like okay you need to disrobe and you gotta you know disrobe well just take your pants off and like you know you, you gotta to take your pants off yeah you gotta, you gotta, you gotta get to the all right, all right. Uh, get to the uh, thing and um the beans yes and and they're like uh they go get on the table and they're laying all everything out on the table i'm just looking at the table and i'm like more and more nervous and i remember the one doctor like when i laid down the table and i'm just like chatting up a store i'm just talking i'm just saying nothing i'm just yeah. talking so she, they, they lay they lay everything across so you have that square open up so you're just feeling that breeze Yep. Just in that one little area. And I'm just like, blah, 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 a million miles a minute. And then she said to me, how long ago did you take the pill? <laughs> <laughs> I was like. Do that nervous talk. I know. And like, she stop. Did, I go, I go, I don't know. What time is it? I have no idea. Whenever the I video started. I time anymore. I know. I'm like, so she goes, well, she, you should be good. You should be good. Should be. I know. Hey, like, you'll oh, probably be fine. Meh. So then all of a sudden she reached down and she pulls up this blood red rag and like she starts smearing this crap all oh, over the, oh, yeah God. and it's like but this, to the side of it when i'm looking down you know i'm just looking down laying this table seeing a lot of red. i'm just seeing this red it, i feel the slop going all over me and like uh, uh <laughs> she's like rubbing it all over and she's like she goes this stuff she goes we hate this stuff it stains everything but it's like it is it's blood red man yeah. it's like it's it's crazy it does stain it just gets all over everything and it's just like it's, it's so, weird yeah, looking it's, it's that i know everyone who's had any kind of surgery knows what that is. the doc's sitting there and um she's just like she's looking at she goes so what music do you want to listen to and i'm like what and then I'm like, she goes we play whatever um whatever you want to hear while we're doing the procedure it helps the patients relax and it's like, i was like oh okay cool part of my brain was like i wanted to say like play slayer but um i had him play slackers so i could always remember getting vasectomy when i listened to slackers yeah, now that's cool. <laughs> well then they do the numbing and i'm curious about if you had the same thing that i had but what they did to me was this pin that felt like it was a giant rubber band that someone just pulled back and snapped your balls yeah no i didn't have that so you would hear it click ow and she goes it gets better as it goes and like it felt like someone flicking my balls with a uh, like a rubber band that's how the first time <laughs> was the worst it was but then it got better as it went yeah. and i was like after like five clicks she went in for the cut and i felt it <laughs> and i was like and my knee came up and then her hands went up all their hands went up she goes she goes please do not move yeah your knee and i was like okay just tie me down I was like, what are Drive me to this table. So she had to lean on me and then she goes, Did you feel that? And I was like, Yes. And so she had to cut ow. It's like ow. <laughs> and like, but so that was on the left side. <laughs> and then and then and then everything was fine. Then I didn't feel it. She just talked to me and then she just started talking. Turned out she's a stand-up comedian as well as a doctor. Oh, hilarious. I know, which I started laughing. Please I was tell like, me your jokes. I was telling her, I was looking at the I was microphone. Like, I was sitting there thinking, is this gonna be in your act later? And then moved on to the next uh, next ball. Same again. Pow, 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 pow. And then cut. Felt it. Pow, 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 pow. And then it was over. Nothing. And then they were like, okay. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention. One thing I did luck out on was the, the lady that was doing the slop all over me. She said to me, she goes, yeah, today all the uh, um, students are off. Um, usually we have like a team in here that are watching to take notes and stuff. I'll get to that. Okay. And I was like, <laughs> sweet. But anyway, as soon as the doc was done and she just went, she went, okay. She goes, yeah. I'm done. She slapped off her gloves and she was like out the door. Never just disappeared. Never to be seen again. The mind was a little different. I, uh, mine was early in the morning on a Wednesday and I had to take an Uber because oh, I didn't have anybody to drive me. I knew I wasn't going to drive home and, and I don't have a lot of where I currently live. Don't have a lot of people that can do favors for me and shit so i took an uber there not a big deal i was like cool got right in got signed in waiting room was fairly empty there was only like one other person there and um i got right in 
signed in and they basically took me right back. I didn't get a clever video like yourself, but you know, missed out. uh, Yeah, I did. So they took me back down the hall and they walked. I entered this like unusually large room with like a a low dentist chair in it right in the middle of the room. But the room itself was like unusually large for this one chair. And they were like, the the lady was there, the doctor. And she said, uh, okay, go uh, pull your pants down. Uh, and and sit down. She was like, I can turn around, I can leave, I can do whatever, and put this over you. And I, uh, I was like, Do I need? She was like, No, just just pull down. You need to take them off. I like, All right, cool. So she comes back in, and she's got somebody with her that I figure is just going to be a, a nurse to assist her, or whatever. And uh, she helps me out. They they do the the same thing. The the I know it's not iodine, but it's something. Um, mm-hmm. And uh, she was like, Oh well, uh, there's a med- do you have a problem with the medical student here watching the procedure? And I'm like. I'm hanging out at this point. <laughs> and, I was like, and, and like the student is right there. And I was like, I was like, you know, at, at this point, we're all friends. You know, let's, uh, let's just get this done. Uh, and they, she played music. Uh, she, she asked me, she was like, do you mind uh, if I play music? And I was like, whatever is going to make you more comfortable. I don't care. And she put on freaking U2. And I was like, God. So well, wait, wait, to, wait, 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 what era U2? Like, uh, it? it was like, uh, I want to say. So Joshua. Um, Early, no, not uh, good U2. Uh, like early 90s U2. Okay. Right? Like, like Octung Baby or something. Mm-hmm. Like, oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. And I was like, is this necessary? <laughs> but uh she's she uh she hit me with the the uh numbing and it just it went right out. And I was like, whew. I'm... And she was like, she was like, Can you feel this? I was like, I can feel nothing. And just like you, the procedure lasted like no time. Uh, and huh? I just I, I was so I think I was so mad that you two was playing that I didn't realize like how much time had passed or anything. Uh, and then she was like, yeah, it's just like you. Okay. I'm done. Just gloves came off. I was like, huh? I was like, eh, you know, that was, uh, that was cool. That was it. You know, and we went over some, some basic things like um, she didn't hop up and run out. She was like, you know, here's your, here's your stuff. Here's your packet. Here's your, your sample cups, all this stuff, blah, 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 blah. Uh, and then she took off. And I was like, Okay, cool. Uh, and then I was like, uh, are we done here? She was like, yeah, you're good. I was like, All right. Yeah, I forgot and about I the had, parting pack. And then I took it and then I had to take an Uber home uh... from my vasectomy. How it was so so easy peasy just to be done. Like we we just were were hit it and quit it and we were done with it. And I was shocked how quickly and easily it was done. And and when I got up, you know, I was just like all those other guys. I was, felt like I got punched right in the mm-hmm. gut and I, I was just moving really slow because things are different. Like you can tell something has happened. Can't feel anything yet, but yeah. something has happened. Mm-hmm. So I'm just kind of like moving very slow and I had my basketball shorts on and and I was just kind of like, all right, I'm, I'm just going to move slow. And it's like, I'm just going to wait for the Uber right here. And got into an Uber and I limped my way down my driveway into uh, into my bed. On a on a Wednesday around noon, I got home around noon. Mm-hmm. That's where I that's where I was. And thus began my my healing journey. How was your healing? My healing journey was not bad. I you, got home. You had a weekend. Yeah, I had, I got home that afternoon. I uh, posted up on the couch, promptly uh, put on Lord of the Rings because mm-hmm. uh, I wanted something long to while. Yeah, I was like, yeah, and you had your Xanax, and yeah, sure I, was, I was already still riding on that, and I just um, sat on the couch and put a pair of bag of peas. The peas, yep. no joke. It's and, a it's a real thing. And I just stared at the TV. I stayed in one spot for about three days. That's good. That's I, good. I, I, because you're you're not supposed to they say 48 hours. You're mm-hmm. not supposed to do anything. And then well, they say 5 days after that you're still not supposed to really do any heavy lifting. No, no heavy lifting. See, I listened I listened you when you said like I uh, said don't don't move and I and from other people I knew that had it done, they um they were like don't move and I just right. I said, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm going to take this advice. I'm going to take advantage of this. I'm going to sit here on this couch and I'm going to watch all the movies. That's good that you posted up on the couch because my dumb ass, <laughs> I, I sat for, cause I, I took the day after off of my day job and I was like, hmm. okay. I was like, I was, and then, you know, I spent all day in bed. I was like, I host trivia. How, how bad can it be? I host trivia. I sit there. Uh, I talk into a microphone. How bad can it be? I'll, I'll do that. Man, am I an idiot? <laughs> cause then I had to, one load all my equipment including my pa into my vehicle 
then drive all the way there. You know, not really. I'm using my legs to drive and push the gas and hit the brake. Then I have to bring all my equipment into the bar. Oh, God. Yeah. I I just did not think it through. I was like, 24 hours on the couch. I'll be fine. <laughs> so that was my, that was mistake number one. And I was just like, you know, nothing, nothing pop. But I was, I was definitely in pain. It, it straight up felt like somebody was continuously kicking me in the balls mm. like all day. It was like, I'm an idiot. Mm-hmm. And then Friday I went into work because uh, I was like, I'll, I'll just be at my desk all day. You know, it's it's God, that was a dumb idea, too. <laughs> I should have taken the two days and just done taking. I should have taken the two days off and not not moved, not. Moved. But I I am an idiot. So I felt for probably a good five days after my procedure, I felt like I was being continuously kicked in the balls. And it, I yeah, no, I had no one to blame but myself. Yeah. There's that dull ache. Yeah, it's it's yeah, it's, it's, it's just it's, it, it's it's just yeah, it, it did not go away. And I was like, I, I called them, and they were like, Yeah, you're you're an idiot. Um, they're like, As long as you're not bleeding, uh, as long as nothing's happening, they're like, You're just a moron. Um, <laughs> yeah. you not to move, and you did. Uh, so deal with it, you idiot. So I dealt with it and, and then it was fine. But even even though I was a big fat dummy, um, I healed up pretty mm. quick. I yeah. No, no the, scarring, oh, no. Uh... They did. They did one incision a little bit below. They did. They, they show it to you. They, they, they do it on the side or they do one in the front. And the huh. one they did on the front of my ball sack was a little too close to the shaft. So when it, they sewed it up, imagine... When they sew, <laughs> did they sew your penis to your balls? No, but it felt like it was because, like, <laughs> it's like I guess a, a facelift was done on the wrinkles, <laughs> and, and like so, it felt really tight, and like okay. and it it was it took about like about a good month before you stretch know it out. Yeah, yeah it stretch it out. It's, 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 like, like, it's like, like anything else on the human body. <laughs> you, you've had a procedure done, and you have to recover. You have to work your body a little bit. It was an excellent decision on my part. I, I'm, yes. I'm pleased. I'm pleased with. I guess you know nothing. Nothing fell off. Um, no, everything's fine. I didn't. I didn't have to go back for anything. There, there, there was a. Your, my urologist was great. Um, you know, I did my follow ups and and everything was great. I, I I highly recommend it if someone is thinking about getting it done. I highly recommend getting it done if you're at a point in your life where you've decided you don't want to grow your family or have any more kids or anything like that, or, or risk having kids or anything like that. I think it's a, it's a, it's an easy procedure. It's not a, if you follow the guidelines, it's not a painful procedure. Uh, and recovery can be very simple and very easy. And, and I, I rec, I recommend it. And, yeah. You know, w- women for a long time have carried the weight and, you know, and if, if you're at that point in your life, then bitch, get it done. Yeah. It's, you know, if, if you have insurance, it's nine times out of 10 covered. I paid $0 for my, for my vasectomy. $0. Yeah. So. yeah it's, it's, it, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Everything you just said. Um, you know, if you're done, you're done having yeah. children you're not planning on having any more. It doesn't, nothing changes, mm-hmm. uh, nothing noticeable, <laughs> but I highly recommend it to anybody thinking about getting it done. Don't be scared. Don't be uh, intimidated by it at all it's 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 not a big deal yeah it's not a big deal like i said when you get to that point in your life and you just decide that yeah, i'm good then get it done get it done and then you got nothing to worry about i was terrified for no reason yeah and with many things in our lives we're yes. scared because you know it's mm-hmm. a it's a big deal mm-hmm. men don't typically deal with this end of birth control Mm-mm. and it's you know uh, and and it's in movies and TV, it's always amplified. Uh, you know, they, it's a it's a big deal is made out of it for really no reason. It's it's yeah. It was easier than I'm the biggest baby when it comes to the dentist, and it was I I'd rather get this done than than go to the dentist and get work done. Well, I don't need to listen to you two anymore. My clown is definitely yes. down on vasectomies. Everyone should get one. I was down. down to I like I said I was I was absolutely 
I, I, I procrastinated. I kept putting it off, but like yeah. it was ridiculous. And then when I went in, I was like, I, I felt dumb afterwards. I was like, I, well, there was nothing. <laughs> it was going into it is is for me was like I was terrified. But intimidating. But we're afterwards to let people know it's okay. Could, nope. In in the time it takes to you could get three vasectomies in the time it takes to listen to this podcast. In fact, it, when you do go get your vasectomy, if you go get your vasectomy, um, ask them to play this episode. Oh, that'd be great! <laughs> yes, play this episode. We could be the we could be the vasectomy podcast. <laughs> you think we're wrong, or you think our clown should not have been down? Uh, let us know why. Let us know why we're wrong, or you think we're wrong. Because remember, these are our opinions. That's right. We got our balls chopped off and they grew back normally.